throw us off with an opening statement, then we'll open things up to questions. Coach? Uh, that was a grinder. Um, you know, um, both teams seemed a little tired. They have an excuse. We played Sunday, had to really play hard against Minnesota. Uh, we were a little bit flat at times, but uh, our defense was terrific um, almost the whole game. They made some shots early, you know, some tough threes on us. And uh, then I thought we really locked in and, and, and played a terrific second half defensively. And we rebounded well. We, the boxing out was better. Our guards helped us rebound. Um, and then we just hit a streak where we were able to get to the rim. We, we couldn't make a jump shot. You know, Wiggs and Eric Ayala, two really good shooters. They were two for three for 16 from three combined. I uh, had some good looks. So, um, you know, uh, but we just kept grinding. We kept figuring it out. And, you know, I told them at the seven minute mark, this game doesn't have to be close. We can just get our offense going. And, and uh, you know, we were able to get some layups. We were able to get to the foul line. We stepped up. Daryl made a big one on one, I thought. And then our defense was terrific uh, down the stretch. Start off with Emily Giambalvo from the Washington Post. Hey, Mark. Um, what do you feel like made the difference in the final eight minutes? Was it just trying to get to the rim offensively? Yeah, I, I think we changed some things offensively and what we were doing. We were able to get downhill um, a little bit. We took advantage of a couple matchups. Uh, guys did a good job of recognizing it. We cut better. We got our spacing better. Uh, and that helped. And um, so maybe they got a little tired. I, I, I don't know. It just, we couldn't, we couldn't get anything going offensively. Then all of a sudden we had it going. So, but we just kept, we just kept talking defense, defense, defense. Let's guard them three stops in a row. And uh, just kept talking defense, trying not to put pressure on our guys offensively. But yeah, we were able to get to the rim, which was great. Daniel Oyafusi, Baltimore Sun. Hey, Mark, you, you had a season high 17 turnovers and 10 in the first half. Just, um, what, what played a role in that? And what are you trying to clean up uh, yeah. tomorrow night? Yeah, it's frustrating. Um, I don't know what played a role in it, to be quite real with you. Um, it's, it's close to a season high for us. Uh, we haven't been near that number in a while. We had 16 in a game not too long ago. So it's frustrating. We talked about it at halftime. We talked about only having three in the second half, come into the game with 13. Um, it's too many. He's got to be better. He's got to be better with the ball uh, than we were tonight, and hopefully we will be tomorrow. Alex Blum. Uh, hey, Coach Surgeon. Um, you know, talking about that last late game stretch and then also, you know, talking about the turnovers, it, it, and it must be weird going from today to tomorrow playing right back to back. How, how do you prepare, you know, not having the normal preparation of a day to practice and all that between now and then? Yeah, it's beyond weird. That's a great way to put it, but COVID's really made everything weird. So, um, well, <clears throat> there won't be a scouting report because both teams know each other um, really well. You'll try to watch some film, um, you know, uh, that things you didn't do well, things you did well, things that we can try to do better, you know, whatever to help us. So I think we have testing at 1130. We'll, sh you know, we'll meet at 12. Um, feed the guys in the morning. You know, of course, they have class. Um, so they'll be going to class uh, tomorrow. Um, and then we show up and just hopefully we have great energy. Hopefully we can play our bench a little bit and uh, hopefully we play well. So it's tough. It's tough. It's back to back. It's hard. It's hard on both teams, hard on both coaching staffs, but it's just the way, you know, the way it was drawn up. So, um, We'll be ready to go. I'm sure Nebraska will be ready. They had great energy tonight. I thought their bench was terrific. They had great energy tonight. we got to be ready to go tomorrow with great energy at 7 o'clock. Um, and, and to follow up real quick, I know this is the first back-to-back -back wins in, uh, against Big Ten teams this season. Do you, do you think it's coming at, at the right time for that? Yeah, you know, we're, we're, we're playing better. Um, yeah, we didn't, you know, we, we, we lost a couple in a row there and thought we could have got one of them. Ohio State's pretty darn good. And, uh, I think we're getting better. A uh, little disappointed in the turnovers. Um, it was amazing some of the shots that we missed. You hope that we make more tomorrow. But um, yeah, I think I think we're playing better. I think we're more confident. Uh, I think our guys believe. You know, just who knows? You know, we'll show up tomorrow and see what happens. It's a crazy year, guys. And um, 
hopefully our guys have energy. Hopefully they get some sleep tonight and we play well tomorrow. And not, you know, there's a lot of back to back going on in the country. There's not a lot of sweeps. Um, so we know we got to be mentally ready to go at seven to try to figure out how to win another game tomorrow night. Last question, Lila Bromberg, last question. Hey, Coach, um, you know, Aaron Wiggins, Daryl Morsell, Dante Scott, and, you know, Eric all played at least 32 minutes. Is that kind of a cause for concern at all tomorrow? Does that kind of change um, kind of how you plan things for tomorrow at all? Well, 32 is not a lot for them. I've been playing them like 38, so we did a better job of subbing. Uh, Jarius really helped us. I need Akeem to play better tomorrow. That, that would help. Um, if he plays well, that'll, that'll knock their minutes down. Reese, we're getting confidence in. Reese had really good minutes in the first half. Um, so, yeah, it is you – no, know, but their top four guys played a lot of minutes too. Um, maybe a couple minutes last, 28, 29, but their top four guys, they played a lot of minutes and they played a lot of games. They played a lot of games. So, is it concerning? Yeah, it is concerning, but, you know, we'll show up and, and, and figure it out tomorrow. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it.